This is family friendly! Who's the prettiest of them all? Selfie cam, selfie cam on the phone. Ah, please! Stop it! Ah, ah that's stupid. Hi again and welcome to 3 Minute John. Last weekend I was in Ireland. I liked it a lot. I drank some Guinness beer and got drunk like a skunk. Mm? Okay. And now the news. A new messaging app from Google. When it comes to messaging apps, Google made a mess out of the whole thing. From Google Talk to Huddle, Hangouts, Allo, Duo, they were all shitty apps that just couldn't do what all the others could. Hello, shitty walk, take order, pre. Now Google is back with the latest one called Chat that will support video, GIF, emoji, and picture sharing, and they say it's the best. Just like they said about all the other ones. That sucked. But now they want to totally replace the SMS or short message system with a new technology called RCS or Rich Communication Services. The new chat messages will be sent via the user's data plan rather than his SMS plan and will reportedly eat up a minimal amount of data per message. That sounds good. Oh, and another inty wincy little thing, it won't have end-to-end -end encryption, so all conversation file sharing can be intercepted by the police, government, hackers, the whole lot. <laughs> That's great. How the f a company like Google, I mean f Google, can make a decent messaging app like WhatsApp, iMessage, or Signal. Come the And after all the scandals around privacy, you don't put end to end encryption on it. Bro, Google, Santa's dumb beats, bro! Anyway, it seems like 55 carriers around the world will be on board with the new RCS protocol, and the new app will be available by the end of this year. But I just, I, I, I don't see a good reason to make me switch from WhatsApp or whatever to chat. I just, it, it's stupid. Windows Defender now available in Chrome for Mac users. <laughs> I know it sounds like a joke, but it's true. Windows Defender failed so many times to defend Windows, you know, the platform for which it was built for, that it's ludicrous to think that they will do a better job for Max. <laughs> okay, let's move on, shall we? It's, it's stupid. Amazon will deliver packages in your car. What? Remember last year when we talked about Amazon Key and how you can let an Amazon delivery person leave a package in your house when you're not home? If you think that's a bad idea, they made something new! That's just as bad. Amazon announced a new service that gives carrier access to a person's vehicle to leave the package in their trunk. Amazon made it in partnership with two major automakers, General Motors and Volvo, and it's already available in 37 countries around the US. To find your car, the courier will have access to its GPS location, license plate number, as well as an image of the car, and it can open and close your car using the Amazon Key Cloud. Some say that this is great because now the packages will be safe in the car and won't be stolen from their doorstep. Yeah. It's gonna be great, because now you give them a reason to break into your car to get it. And if the package is too heavy to carry, they can steal your car too! Hey! I'm very skeptical when it comes to Amazon Key, and unless I'm waiting for something that is very urgent or vital, you know, like a jar of Nutella, I don't think I could take the risk. Yo, Suzanne! I think somebody's trying to steal the neighbor's car! Where's my shotgun, dead mother f No, please wait, I'm just delivering. Oh, yeah, you better run. Please. Did you get him, Earl? Yep, got him now. A phone with a battery that can last one week. One of the biggest problems with smartphones these days is the battery life. There are very few phones that can go a whole day without a recharge, and sometimes there's no socket around to plug in your phone, so you can suck it. So in this situation, you need an external battery like this one, but that just makes you a target for those phone-addicted friends that don't have one. Hey man, can I get some power? I I'm all out. Sorry, I need it for myself. Please, man, I haven't posted on Instagram for five minutes now. Get out of here, you phone junkie. <laughs> But now a Chinese smartphone maker called Yulifone has made the world's first smartphone with a 13,000 milliamp battery. Wait the 
No. It's called the Power 5, and aside from the massive laptop like battery, it has some pretty decent specs a 6 inch Full HD display, a 2 GHz octa core processor, 6 GB of RAM, 64 GB of storage, expandable up to 256, fast wireless charging, touch ID, face ID, a double rear camera setup with Sony sensors, a dual selfie camera setup. It has 330 grams, which is double than your average phone, but hey. 13,000 milliamps and the thickness of 15.8 millimeters. And it can charge other devices, so you can feed those power thirsty zombies. Power. <laughs> If you want to get one for the next few days, it has a 20% discount price of $270. What? 200? Come? It's one of those situations when the price makes you wonder about the quality of the product. I mean, $270? I don't know. If you buy one, let me know if it's... <sighs> And now, a montage of the extraction of last week's survey, for which I thank you very much for doing. So the 10 lucky winners will get one year of premium subscription to CyberGhost and all the rest will get one free month. This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Leave us a comment below. I am John. And until next week, keep it safe and secure. Cheers. This is the last episode that Rana is going to be with us because she's going to a better place. No, she's not dying. Where are you going, Rana? What's next for you? We will miss her laugh, her uh, hair, her shoes. <sighs> Thank you, Anna, for all the, the wonderful moments you gave us. Say bye to the good people. Okay, now f off. <laughs>